Hi everybody, my name is Hannah, this is Pepper and Pine, and today we are working through our mineralogy unit with a project on how to make sedimentary rock. We are using this book by DK Eyewitness Explorers. It's a fantastic book. It's called Rocks and Minerals, and it has a lot of really simple projects you can do that are very educational and perfect for this unit that we're working through right now. So I have a couple extras here. I have sand from all over the world. For a while, I was collecting it. If anybody went you know, out of the country, I asked for some sand, which I know is a little bit weird, but hey, it's come in handy now. So I've got my plaster of Paris, I've got my mold here, and we are going to be making some layered rocks. Now you can find all of the materials that I used down in the description box below. We're using some plaster of Paris. You just need to follow the directions and make sure that you are taking your safety precautions while you are using this product. I have followed the directions, but I've also added sand to it. You just want to mix it well. And I use some sand that has kind of like a orange reddish color to it. And that's going to make our first layer. Now that I've done this, I would say that you could probably mix more sand with this so that your layers really kind of show through. Uh, and if you don't have colored sand, that's okay. You can use some food dye in order to get the same results. Now between these layers we want to add a few things and I've got a couple of these shells here. Now the book recommends that you can coat them with jelly and that way they'll pop out a little bit easier. And I thought why not use some oil instead and actually it doesn't work that well. So if you want them to pop out a little bit easier through those layers then go ahead and use jelly instead. So now we're going to work on our second layer. So again I'm adding some more plaster of Paris and you want to add either your sand or your food coloring to this and then you can go ahead and add your water. Initially the mixture will become hot and then later it becomes cold as it sets. So now we're going to go ahead and put our second layer in. Now the second layer of sand is just local sand from our beach so it kind of has like a medium tone. For this third layer, I wanted to make it more of a gravelly layer, but I probably should have dyed this one with a different color or use a different color sand because I went ahead and I used the same sand because it was the one that we had the most abundance of. That was just our local sand and I put a, quite a few gravel bits in there. And it was kind of neat when we finally got to excavating it, but I think in order to see the different layers, this would probably be a good time to mix it up with a different color. And as you're pouring it, you want to get that gravelly bits into your mold because they settle at the bottom after you mix in your plaster. Okay, so again, we want to uh, do another layer. This time we are using some colored sand, similar to the first layer, but from a different location. And my daughter is going to mix that while we work on adding some more shells and other things between those layers. Again, I, I put it in oil, but totally you can skip that part because it did not help at all. You can try jelly or you can just skip it. It was still fun to excavate them. And then I am just going to tap out any air bubbles by gently tapping the mold and that releases any of the air bubbles. Now this sets pretty fast so you can excavate pretty quickly. Now it also needs to be cleaned and I recommend just using a paper towel. Don't wash this down your sink, you'll probably ruin the plumbing. I'm going to go ahead and get that cleaned up. In the meantime, I set this aside and it set really well. Just want to show you those different layers there. You can really see them even though the ones towards the middle and even towards the bottom don't show up as much. If you want them to show up more, I recommend using more sand that's of a different color or food coloring. So now's the fun part, and that's the excavation part. But it didn't turn out quite the way I expected. I was thinking that there'd be some more distinction between the layers as my children excavated the different layers and they found the, the shells and things, but it didn't show through quite as much as I expected. Now, my 11-year-old son really enjoyed the excavation process, and he even kept all of the little gravel bits as he excavated it. My daughter, on the other hand, who is six, had a little bit more trouble getting through this and didn't find the project quite that interesting and that's okay this was originally intended for my 11 year old's main lesson block on mineralogy and that cross section you can really start to see the different layers especially the gravel that was in that second to the top layer. 
Okay, so if you want to see some of the other projects that we're doing with our mineralogy unit, you can tap on the screen right now. And if you want to see what we're up to on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine. <laughs>